Hello, and welcome to Learn Digital Design. Today we're going to start with the third tutorial, and we're going to continue learning about the toolbar. If you haven't uh, watched the first of our tutorials, they can be found on our website. And if you already know how to use Inkscape, you can go ahead and skip forward a few uh, tutorials and start getting into some of the digital design directly. So far we've covered the Bezier Curve tool and the Pencil tool. Let's continue to learn about the toolbar. Next we'll look at this uh, Draw Calligraphic br or Brush Strokes tool. You can also press Control and F6 on a PC to access this. Basically what this does is it just draws a, a thick line, at least at first glance. Now, the really cool thing about the, this tool is that you can assign a fill and a stroke to it, just like as if it's an, an object, or a square, or a circle. Look here, and uh, we're going to go to the Edit Path by Nodes tool. And we're going to learn more in detail about the Edit Path by Nodes tool shortly. But this shape here actually has different nodes that can be edited. It can also be assigned a fill and a stroke color. Just as if it's a object. As you can see there are a lot of different possibilities that you can do with this tool. Alright, and if you want to edit the fill and stroke of something, there is a special panel just for that. It's called the fill and stroke panel. And you can also do that with these colors down here, or this, but first you need to select what you want to work on. And you're going to push Control, Shift, plus F. And I already have it pulled up here. And we'll go into way more detail on the fill and stroke panel on its own in another lesson but just the basics here you can adjust the fill whatever color you want and you can see it, it affects it in real time you can adjust the stroke and X means no stroke um, the flat color means you choose a flat color you can also choose how many pixels wide you want your stroke to be you can choose whether you want to use pixels, points, percentage all kinds of stuff and like I said we're gonna go into this in much more detail later but for now let's just leave it like this and close this and let's delete this one let's grab that tool again and I wanna show you uh, something about this tool you're gonna to need to know it's important uh, when you start drawing something let's say you want to overlap now notice what it did here It, it did overlap but it didn't become one it didn't become one object right there so it, it the object itself actually overlaps so that's something you need to keep in mind when you're working with this tool right. in this tutorial is more or less running out of time we've uh, we're at the point where we've not quite got enough time to go into another item on the toolbar, so I'll see you in the next video.